Hello friends, welcome to KK Java Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we'll learn how to resolve conflicts in Git through Eclipse. So here you can see I have a one project demo project which is currently synced with the master branch, and uh, I have written a very simple code. So here intentionally I'm going to create some kind of conflicts right and then after we will try to resolve if you understood how to resolve a conflict conflict uh, in single file then uh, even though you have conflict in multiple files easily you can resolve yeah so here what so why conflicts basically arises so let's say if you check out some code right and you do some modification on your local uh, file system right in your workspace right and uh, when you try to push your changes on the remote repository and before that some other developer has uh, uh, commit and push their changes into the remote branch right uh, and those changes in the in the same lines of the code wherever you made changes right so in that case uh, basically uh, git is unable to decide which change has to uh, give the more priority in that case conflicts uh, conflict arises right and you will have to resolve those kind of conflict manually you have to tell uh, which code get more preference whether code which is on the remote repository or your local repository right or your working directory right so let's see uh, let's see how we can arise uh, basically a conflict intentionally so this is by a class very simple class where two variables and uh, addition of these variables uh, just i am getting over here uh, let's say uh, I am doing some variable name change like data1 and this is I am going to do uh, data2 and corresponding change over here data1 and data2 right just I am changing the variable name right data2 now on github you have to log in and let's say this is the basically repository there i go in this project and i go to this package and i open this class and here manually i'm going to change let's let, just think like a uh, some other uh, developer uh, from your team has done some modification and they have basically uh, a commit and push their changes in this remote repository before you uh, basically commit uh, and push your changes right so just i'm going to modify manually over here so here what i'll do here we have a x so instead of x i would say i1 and this one i'm going to specify i2 right and corresponding change i1 plus i2 right so here i'm going to let's say multiplication i'm doing kind of multiplication i1 into i2 right and now here you have to specify what kind of uh, commit so you are doing so so here i'm going to just doing multi application multiplication right same i'm going to add over here and just i'm counting this message think about some other developer has uh, done some modification and they have pushed their changes before you uh, basically check in your code or push your changes now i'm going to add my change into the basically index so before uh, basically commit and push or change you have to add your changes into the staging area from on stage changes right so i have done that one and here i'm going to specify some commit like uh, my commit and here i'm going to click first of all you click on the commit and then after commit and push but once sort just you want to commit and push on the remote repository then you can click directly on this so i'm going to click on this right and close this and let's say i right click on this project and after that what i'm going to go to team i'm i'm trying to pull the changes from the remote repository so when i do pull git pull that means this will bring all the updated code from the remote repository and try to merge in our local workspace and of course in that case we will get some kind of conflict so here you can see we got the conflict now git is unable to uh, basically merge right so git is getting confused so here git is finding uh, here you can see 
this kind of garbage say after hit whatever value you have that is your local change and after this whatever you have that is basically remote change right so now git is asking whether you want to give the priority of your local change or whatever change is the remote repository right so that's your decision so here i am going to give the priority to the whatever code is present in the uh, basically remote repository so my local change i am going to delete manually just i'll delete this one and of course you have to delete this garbage stuff and now i give priority to the basically code which is available on the remote repository right after resolving this kind of conflict manually right click on this your uh, basically this file and click on the add to index and same you can do from here here i also you can right click and you, if you go to the team and here you'll get this option add to index right that's so just i'm adding into the uh, basically staging area and once you add after resolving the conflict once you add your file in the uh, basically staging area or a staged changes then you'll get the default commit message keep as it is and if you would like to add something then you can add but this is a meaningful message basically merge branch master of this uh, and conflict was arising in this file so what whatever uh, so basically if you have a conflict in the many files all file will be displayed over here so there is possibility you get conflict on the multiple files so you will have to resolve it manually and after that of course you have to do commit and push so i'm going to commit and push and here we can done so we can go over here and here you can see there is no conflict either in remote repository as well in our working area now we can do what we can do click right click on the demo project and go to the team and again you can pull your changes then here you can see getting a message fetch result everything up to date right so in that way you can resolve conflict in your eclipse right using kit so that's all i have in this video tutorial guys i hope you enjoyed in this video guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial